Enderman Observations Part 27? I have been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Totemic constructions of peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things, only hitting me with their fists. Repeatedly. Meanwhile, peaceful Endermen will move blocks from place to place, on and on, seemingly ad infinitum, until they somehow achieve satisfaction and teleport away. Clearly, this will require further detailed observation. I am so, so lonely. The Folly of Pumpkins? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Endermen from attacking me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior, as if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures, and, like a fearless explorer burning his boats to the ground upon reaching the shores of a new land, my entire cache of pumpkins has now been baked into delicious pies. Calls of the Enderman. Finally, an Enderman love song. It's all just. You find anything useful? <laughs> Worth asking. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! This must be the disguise Soren was talking about on the recording. In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. Ah, oh, it smells like one, apparently. Woof! Kinda stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kinda stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at you. I found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple? Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Okay, so, if Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, oh, we have to go out there to do it. I'm no art snob, but meh. Oh, you 
know that's really creepy, right? Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. This one, too. It's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. Three I've grabbed so far. I'll take this one too. Looks like this is the last block in here. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. We uh, just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Blocks to finish that shape in Soren's instructions, and this guy's got the only block around. Down, five to go. I just hope that Soren's watching wherever he is. All 
Best evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. Definitely not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I, I don't think it'll bruise. Your face, I mean. These suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. You have to help me. Well, I just did. You hit me hard in the face. You upset the Enderman, and I got you to safety. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. We're in danger. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. Help me save the world. How? The Formidabomb. There's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. They show their true colors. Who turned on you? All of them! It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have a pig. Right, I was wondering about that. Hmm. My guess is portable meal? He's my friend. Oh, of course. <laughs> I used to have those. Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they wanted me. It's lonely down here without your friends. Magnus is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. Does he ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? Specifically? Give me an example. That you were the best of them. Well, that's very nice to hear. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject? Not to put you on the spot. Sure. Ah, that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly dallies, give her credit she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye. Yeah, let it that's out. that's a lie, so I say. Wait, is that... are... are... are you? Soren! Whoa! Nice to meet you, Soren. <coughs> you look... terrible. Seems a bit odd. They've never been inside before. Look away! <laughs> You've upset them! You've altered their behavior! Okay, let's go.
And the hits just keep on coming. Huh! I wasn't expecting so many house guests! Well, there's no way I have enough seashell soaps for all of them. How are we supposed to get out of here? We need to come up with a plan. And not our usual, we'll come up with a plan when we have to, oh wait, now we have to kind of plan! Let's break that fountain. Back in the maze, when we fell into the water, the Endermen didn't follow us. Well, naturally. Endermen hate water. Oh, if we could force the fountain to overflow somehow... Jesse, you still have the Enderman suit. Put that on, and you'll be able to safely reach the fountain. <gasps> oh, just when I thought I'd never have to smell this thing again. Good luck, dude. We'll, um, all watch from here, then. Where it's safe. <laughs> Phew. Try not to die. Come on! What are you waiting for? Ah! The plan was to break the fountain, so break it! Come on, guys, it's clear! Oh, no. We're gonna die. Ah! Nobody's gonna die. Because I'm going to break that other fountain. Whoa! Okay, everybody, let's go! Ah! What's the holdup? <gasps> They're everywhere. How are we supposed to get through this? I mean, physically and psychologically. Say we somehow make it. Every hold on to me, I'll guide us through them. I guess if this is the only way we're gonna make it back to the trap door. about how flammable my building material was. So I installed a fire suppression system to prevent the whole thing from going up in flames. So there's more water? Much more. If we activate it, it could disperse all these Endermen while we swim to safety. Can we reach the controls from here? The lever! It's right up there!
Ixi. I don't know how much water this thing is going to kick out, so everybody... It's working! Well done, Jesse. Now, time to swim to that trap door. Quick, come on. Hurry! Jesse! Jesse, hurry! We made it. Making it is relative. Oh, come on! This isn't a ton of fun, but let's grab that permit bomb and get out of here! One small problem. I mean, really? Let's go, Stephen. I haven't actually built it yet. That's a small problem? You seem like a person who appreciates cool stuff that's cool for no reason. Thanks. Go ahead and throw that lever behind you. Jesse! Hold on to your socks, because they're about to get blown off. Go to work, boys. I wouldn't lie to you, Jesse. Oh no, wait a minute, I would. I didn't lie to you, that's what I meant. Do you guys hear that? Do what? All that stuff whispering. Take me, take me now. I think it's saying, Bolivia should get to take more than Axel. But why? Because she's cooler. Come on, guys, don't touch anything. I know all this stuff is pretty... Awesome, cool, the greatest, the super greatest. But it doesn't belong to us. I'll just fetch the super TNT. It's right up there. How are you going to get up there? Well, I have my ways. Oh, and feel free to help yourselves. Just make sure you keep an eye out for the gunpowder we'll need to make that Formida bomb. Are you in paradise or what? Honestly, I'm wearing what right now? All this power went straight to my head, and then I got a head rush, and now I'm too overwhelmed to take anything. Stay strong, Axel. I'll try. Are you both doing okay? It's gotten really bad. Part of me is hoping that when we bomb the wither storm, this sickness will just dissipate. Sure would be nice, huh? Well, 
it makes sense, doesn't it? Let's just focus on building this crazy bomb, huh? Glowstone dust. But it would be so cool to finally have my very own spider eye. Big decision? I'll leave you to it. Ruben? Just because everyone else is grabbing stuff doesn't mean you have to, too. Soren? Jesse! I think I've got almost enough gunpowder now. Glad to hear it. And Jesse, I am sorry for not keeping this place as organized as I should. It's very embarrassing. And this is my Super TNT. Wait, but I thought Super TNT was the Formidable. Uh, of course not! They're two completely different words, aren't they? Let's build us a Formidable. Yes, let's build away! Uh, how do we build us a Formidabomb, exactly? Do we just combine this with the gunpowder? Well, the crafting recipe is quite simple, really. Super TNT in the middle, and gunpowder all around. Got it! No! No, no, no! The ingredients are highly unstable. Even putting them in close proximity to each other is a risk. Okay, well, we may not have the Formidabomb yet, but at least we finally have the ingredients to build one. Progress! And now that we have them, we... <clears throat> we... I literally don't remember. You're gonna have to help me out a little, Jesse. Looking for any information here. Now we just need to find a way to get it inside the Witherstorm to blow it up. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I was afraid of this. With the end underwater, the Endermen will try to escape. Maybe we should leave before any of them show up. Of course. Of course! To the minecarts, everyone! <laughs> I've been waiting ages to say that. To people, I mean. up just in time to hold up the trophy, huh? I'm glad you're okay. This looks like okay to you! I thought Ivor was coming to get you. Ivor? We haven't even seen him. Uh, what's going on? Uh... You don't have to worry about the monsters. 